Hey, this is Bob from Wams Tech, and today we're going to show you some frustrations that students and teachers experience when trying to edit a Word document in Google Drive on their iPad. And it's that exact combination that's causing the frustration, is that uh, teachers will share a Word document with a student, and the number one Word editing uh, app on their iPad is Google Docs, and they're working on it on an Apple iPad. So it's three different companies uh, and three different platforms that's trying to edit a single document here, right? And the issue that we're experiencing is that when students are working on their Apple iPad in Google Docs on a Microsoft Word document, that that Microsoft Word document is not automatically saving and is losing or reverting their work back to the original version. And students are losing their work because Unlike a Google Doc, which automatically saves their work, um, the Microsoft Word document doesn't always do that reliably. So uh, here are some solutions for this problem. First, and probably the easiest, most reliable solution will be to always create your original document in Google Drive by creating a new Google Doc, right? Um, so you create a new Google Doc and you share that Google Doc with the student. They can make a copy of it or you can go through PowerSchool Learning or Google Classroom, or whatever else, for them to make that copy. Um, and then you'll know that you have that Google to Google and they'll always be able to save their work. However, if you are still convinced that you need to use Microsoft Word in order to create your document, that's fine. Microsoft Word is much more powerful than Google Docs, right? And you can have some different features there. Um, just make sure that before you save, or sorry, before you share this document with a student that you are converting it to a Google Doc before sharing. And to do that, you'd simply open up this Word document that's living in your Google Drive, right? Just double click on it, open it up. And you see here that it's a Word document because it has a .docx file, right? It's got a white W on a blue background. So we know this is a Microsoft Word document that happens to live in Google Drive. Because you can store any file you want in Google Drive, right? Including Microsoft Word documents. And you're gonna come over here to File and then select Office Compatibility Mode, all right? So if you create your file in Word document before sharing it with a student, Go to File, Office Compatibility Mode. And here it's gonna prompt you to save this file as a Google Doc, okay? So I'm gonna select Save as Google Doc. You see it's gonna do its conversion from a Word document over here to a Google Doc. And now you see I have a Google Doc version of this document. You see the icon changed to a Google Doc and that .docx file extension uh, was removed. All right, so now we know this is a safe Google Doc that we can share with students and then uh, they'll have a Google Doc version to work in where their work will automatically be saved every time. Now, uh, if you still want to share a Word document with students and not the Google Doc, that's completely up to you. Just know that you're probably gonna run into issues of their work not saving correctly unless the student is the one to convert this Word document to a Google Doc on their end. And so how that would work is, you know, you would still share this Google or this Word document like you do uh, with as, as a Word document. So if I am in my Google Drive here and I wanna share this with my students, right? I can still share it, right? Because any file in Google Drive can be shared, right? And I can add this, I can, you know, I can add students to it or I can add a roster or maybe I'm attaching this Word document to a PowerSchool learning handout assignment or whatever. All right, um, but regardless, my student has a version of this now. All right, so on the left-hand side, you see this is the student version, and in their Google Drive, under their shared with me, um, I shared this Word file with the student, right? Again, you see that it's got a dot .docx extension, and you see that it's got that Microsoft Word icon, right? So yes, a student can open this up, It'll open up in Google Drive. They can come over here and they can click on it and they can edit it, right? Um, and if they hit that blue check mark in the top left-hand corner, most likely it'll save, right? But it is inconsistent and it's unreliable and time after time, at least once a week, I would say a student comes to me saying that all of the work that they did in this .docx file is gone. And it's a legitimate reason. 
So the solution on the student end is that they should not work in a .docx file on their iPad uh, within Google Docs. Okay, they, if they wanted to, they could come over here to the triple dots and you know share this and send a copy to the Microsoft Word app, and then they could work on it Microsoft Word, and that should save reliably. Um, but as far as I'm aware, most students do not use Microsoft Word to edit uh, Word documents on their iPads. They typically use Google Drive. So um, the solution for students is that, again, they should not edit this .docx file, they should first convert it to a Google Drive file or Google Docs file. And to do that, before they edit the document, as soon as they open it up, they should hit the triple dots in the top right hand corner. Okay, so again, the triple dots in the top right hand corner. And you see, just like we had on our teacher view, this top option here to office compatibility mode, right? So if they select office compatibility mode, you see they have an option to save it as Google Docs, just like we did, right? So if we came over here and went into file office compatibility mode and we had the option to save, so do they. They have the option to save it as a Google Docs on their end. So, right, so they could say save as Google Docs and this will convert this Word document to a Google Doc, uh, save it into their My Drive and automatically open it up. And again, you can tell this is a doc because it's, it no longer has that .docx file extension. Uh, we have that nice Google Docs edit pencil in the bottom right-hand corner. If they um, hit the triple dots, they, don't, they no longer have that office compatibility mode. If they go back a screen, right, uh, we should see that, yes, that this icon here, right, it's no longer this white um, w for the Microsoft Word, but rather we're working in this Google Docs icon here, this one here. Now, as you may notice that the student now has two files in their Google Drive. They have the original Microsoft Word document, which they should not edit, um, and they have the new converted Google Doc. Uh, it, so you might want to suggest to students, if you're still sending them the Word documents, right, suggest to them to not only copy it or save it as a Google Doc using Office compatibility mode, but also to come over here and remove the Word Doc first. Okay, You see that when I hit the triple dots, I have this option to remove it. You see at the very top of the menu, I can also save it as a Google Docs file from this menu. Okay, So if I'm already in the Google Docs app, I can save it as a Google Docs file here as well. All right, so hopefully that this video helps and will alleviate frustration um, both on your end as well as on the end of the students. And if you have any questions about this process um, and, and need ver just verification or need one-on-one -on -one assistance, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.